In this video, I will show you how to use Trello. So Trello is a project management tool that you can use for a bunch of different purposes. Right here, I am in the Trello website and I will go over how to set up your account, create your first board, invite your team members and actually manage those team members. So assign tasks to them, set deadlines and all the other features that Trello offers. So when we scroll down a little bit, you will see a little bit about Trello. So here you can see that you can use it for project management, meetings, onboarding, task management, brainstorming as a resource hub, and there is more things that you can do with this. For example, you can use it for game development or any other project that you want to manage. So to start off, we are going to click on get Trello for free. So there is a totally free plan that you can use. So the first step to starting with Trello is to create your account. So there is a bunch of different ways to do this. I will use Google. Then click on create your account. And then here you can actually get started with Trello. So the next part of this Trello tutorial is to create your first board. So to do this, you can click on build your first board here, or if you already have your account and you have skipped past this, you can also create your first board by going right here in your boards and clicking on plus. So now you can give the board a title and a visibility. You can also change the background right here. But what I recommend doing is to start with a template. So click on start with a template. Here you can see some popular templates, but you can also click on explore templates. So here you can see all of the templates that are in Trello. So let's say you want to have a board for your marketing project. Then click on marketing right here. And then here you have some marketing templates. So find the one that is best for you. When you click on the template, you can see a little bit about this template. So for example, this one is for working on multiple integrated campaigns. So let's say that is what you are doing. Then click on use this template, give it a name. So for example, marketing, and then click on create. Now you have your board right here. Now this is split up into a few different lists. So you have the project resources, website, campaign assets, campaign setup, and the blockers. Now this may be different for you because you probably will choose a different template. But now that you have your board, you may want to customize this a little bit. So let's say you don't need this blockers list. What you can do is click on the three dots right here and then click on archive this list. So now as you can see, it is gone. Now if you also don't need the reporting, click archive. Just click archive this list on all of the lists that you don't need. So let's say we only need the project resources and campaign assets then I will archive all of the other ones. Now here you can add a list. So let's name this, for example, launch campaign. So now you can add in a card. So a card is basically a task. So for example, launch Facebook ads campaign, and then click on add card. So now you have this task or card right here. Now, obviously you want to have your team members that you are working on this project with in this specific board. So to do this, click on share right here and then add their email address or name. You can also create a link to share in a WhatsApp group, for example, but you can also just send them the email. So you can choose to make them a member or an observer if you have the premium plan, but I'll keep it as a member. Then you can send them an email and then you can also add multiple emails and you can change the message right here. So then click on share and I'll show you what this email looks like right now. So this is what the email looks like. So it says Killian or whatever your name is invited you to a Trello board. Then they can click on go to board and now they can click on OK, got it. And they will be in this board. So here you can now see the team members. So now that we have added in our team members, we can go ahead and actually assign the tasks that we have to get done to specific team members. So let's say we want to launch the Facebook ads campaign. Now we want to assign this task to a specific person. To do this, click on the edit icon right here and then click on change members. So now assign it to a person here. So I will assign this task to this person. And now you can see this person right here is assigned to this task. Now, if you want, for example, to set a due date, you can click on edit dates and then here change the due date. So let's say we want the due date to be the 20th of November at 12 p.m. Then we can change it to this and set save. So now here you can see launch the Facebook ads campaign has to be done by November 20th by this person right here. So let's say we add a list right here that is called done. Now this person can move this into the next list when they are done. You can also add an in progress list right here and switch these two over. 
So now when this person that we have assigned this task to is working on it, can move it over here. And when they are done, they can move it over here. Now the person that this is assigned to can click on this task right here. They can add in their media, for example, if they need to design an image, then they can put this image in here. And then when they have moved it over to done, you can click on it and see that image or whatever they were working on right here. So you can see the attachments here. So this is the board view, but you can also choose to pick another view. You can see the table view, the calendar view, the timeline view, the dashboard and the map. Now to use these, you will need to have the premium plan. You have a free trial to try this out if you would like to use this. So this is your board and this board is within this specific workspace. So this one is called Killian's workspace. Now you can also have multiple workspaces. For example, if you have multiple companies, then you can have a specific workspace for one company. And then you can click on create right here and click on create workspace for another company. So let's say this is number two, then we will name this number two, choose the workspace type. So let's say it's a small business or a sales CRM, then click continue. You can invite members or do this later. And now you have the second workspace right here where you can also add in your boards. Now here I'll show you how to create a board yourself without using a template. So first pick a background. Let's say you want it to be this blue right here. Then give the board a title and choose workspace number two. Then the visibility for this workspace. So all the members in this workspace will be able to see it. You can also choose public so anyone on the internet can see this board and you can set it to private and then only board members can see and edit this board. I'll keep it to the workspace and click create. So now this is what it will look like when you create a board yourself. So you need to create your own lists. So let's say this is a CRM board. Then you will have a leads list, a meeting book list and a clients. And maybe we will have some more. Then here as a card, you can add in the leads. For example, you can do one after the name of the person, which may be Mark, and then you can click on it and add a description. So for example, Mark at gmail.com, if that is their email, then you can add some more details. So for example, I am called emailing them or whatever. Then the owner of the board can actually see this and see what the employee is actually doing. So again, click on share, add in your team members, and then you can work with them on this board. Now you can start this board if this board is important. And then you can click right here on start and then you can see all of your start boards. So if you have a lot of boards and you mostly work in maybe one or two boards, then you can start those boards and find them really quickly here on the start boards. Now, if you want to change the theme of Trello, because as you can see right now, it's pretty dark. You can click right here on your profile picture and click on theme. And now it will match the browser. You can set it to dark or light. And now as you can see, it looks entirely different. So let's say you like this, then keep it like this. So that's how to use Trello. So we covered how to set up your account, how to create a board, both from a template and how to do it yourself, how to invite your team members, how to assign tasks, how to set due dates, and how to see the task specifics. If this Trello tutorial was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.